Hi, my name is Kim, and you're watching Kim Wilson TV. My channel is dedicated to helping victims of narcissistic abuse escape, get out, and stay out, and never have to return to that. Please excuse my scratchy throat today. I have a sore throat. I hope you can hear me okay. Today, we're going to talk future faking, what future faking is, and how devastating it can be for victims. Future faking is one of the narcissist's most effective pathological relationship agenda tactics. They do this to really manage down our relationship expectations, but give us enough, you know, to hang on to. And uh, very, very well calculated. Remember, you're dealing with someone who is completely fake, someone who doesn't exist. Uh, you initially entered into a relationship with a very corrupted human being whose entire facade is faked. And uh, they are definitely following a four-step plan. So always keep that in mind. The four steps are going to be um, the initial idealization and then the devaluation of you. They immediately start to go into the dumping stage. Always have, always will. So if you think the next victim uh, coming up behind you is getting any better deal than you got, they most certainly are not. And then, of course, the final bit guard. Now, in the middle there, um, they need to keep stringing you along uh, before the whole four steps are finalized. And future faking is certainly one of their most effective tactics uh, to abuse, belittle you, and cause you great emotional harm. Future faking is not those daily broken promises uh, that the narcissist is so um, notorious for. Because with those small daily promises, you know, you start to feel disappointed and the narcissist can then keep one small promise and that kind of restores your, your faith in them a little bit. It's not about those. This is a much bigger city plan and the intention of this is really for them to keep you there get what they need in that moment and they're constantly constantly thinking about their agenda nothing happens by accident with the narc this tactic of um, future faking really was initiated during the early idealization stage, during all that love bombing. And future faking is very much a part of the love bombing because they have summed you up. They have determined what it is that's important to you. So they are going to present, you know, like your soulmate, like the person who wants exactly what you want in life, who is the perfect person for you, and you're going to make this perfect union together, and you both want the same things. And this is where the uh, future faking really begins. Now, a relationship with a narcissist will most uh, typically induce in a victim a real sense of uh, confusion and discombobulation. I mean, most of the time, you just don't know what's going on. Now, you'll drift sort of in and out. You know, they'll have really uh, good control over you, and then they'll start to lose control over you as you kind of start waking up and, and the fog will clear from time to time. So, future faking. Um, is widely, widely used uh, when they're hoovering you because this is a tactic that they're going to use to try and draw you back in. You know, wait a minute, calm down, you know, this, you know, we should get married or something or, you know, don't leave. What about, you know, the plans that we, we had to do a particular thing? So the concept of future faking is going to be seen throughout uh, the entire relationship and it really is a very very common uh, method of hoovering as you'll drift away and wake up a little they kind of knock you unconscious with it future faking is going to sound uh, like all that typical stuff uh, you're the only one who understands me I love you more than I've ever loved anyone else we should start planning that trip together. 
maybe we should start working on, you know, the renovations that you wanted to do, all of this nonsense. In the end, future faking really is what it sounds like. More bullshit. It's all bullshit, every bit of it. And when you, you know, sit back, remove from the situation and look at, you know, the long-term emotional harm, how vicious a tactic like that really is because you know they presented as someone who you very your soulmate and and the right person for you and you know there's I, I almost feel stupid like you know how could I have ever fallen for any of that the writing was on the wall it really was and it's that constant state of confusion that they keep you in and all the gaslighting, and the hoovering, and the future faking, and, and then one day you wake up and you realize none of it was real. It was a show. It, they're performers. They're habitual actors, and that's all that's happened. There, nothing was real. Nothing. Not only did they not love you, they have no capacity to love you whatsoever. Now, you might ask yourself, why would someone go through all the trouble of plotting this agenda, you know, of a future or, you know, a, a loving relationship? Why they do it uh, is very simple. If you are with a narcissist, you are with someone from the cluster B group of narcissists, sociopaths, and psychopaths. You are dealing with someone who is gravely mentally ill, and you have to always always go back to that fact. You are not by any means, not by any means. The is completely detached from human emotion. They are not capable of love. They are not capable of caring for you. They are not capable of missing you when you're gone. You're going to be immediately replaced because all they're looking for is narcissistic supply. Now, the sad truth of this is, is the narcissist can only feel whole, feel satisfied when they are hurting you. That is their total agenda, is to hurt you and then dump and discard you and on to the next victim. In the end, no matter how much information you gather, no matter how much knowledge you gain, you have to leave. You absolutely have to get out of there. Now, I have never been happier since I got out of that five-year pile of smoldering shit that I was in. I'm telling you, you've got to get out of there. It's probably going to be very difficult because very likely they have destroyed your life. There is not going to be one aspect of your life that this creep has not crawled into and dirtied up. But there is a light at the end of that tunnel if you can just get out of that tunnel. The best revenge is always going to be getting out of there and going on to have a quality life where you are happy and at peace with yourself. I have gone absolute gray rock, no contact, fuck you buddy, I'm done. And I strongly recommend that for everybody. You know, I guess when I first started looking into narcissism, I felt like I was the only one. <sighs> Discovering how many thousands and thousands of people have been so gravely harmed by these animals, and there never seems to be any repercussions on them. They just shit all over a situation and move on, on to the next victim. Just be glad that you're waking up and, and now you can get out of there.